Well, hi, I suspect that you clicked on the button because you were looking for a book plug. You were eager for a book plug. And I have a book plug for you. This is Reforming Marriage. This is one. Of, this is a book published in 1995. And this is not uh, the current cover. This is actually the original cover, um, which I just pulled off my shelf. This, the, anyway, um, I wrote this book in order to... Um, make my life as a pastor and a marriage counselor simpler. Um, in pre-marriage counseling, um, this is the sort of book that you can give engaged couples or people preparing for marriage. And as it happens, it's worked into the curriculum of uh, New St. Andrews here. So uh, a lot of the kids that I counsel for marriage uh, counsel for pre-marriage counseling have, have read it and, and it sort of gives me a staging area to work from or certain concepts to review. I would say, uh, so reforming marriage is um, intended for um, people who are just going to get married, just married, just going to get married, or people who got married and they've been doing certain things, giving way to certain bad habits for a while, and it's starting to not work for them, and they and they're coming to the re that recognition, this is not working, and so they want to know what are we doing wrong. There are two, two main things out of this book that I would want to emphasize. The first is love and respect. Uh, the Bible doesn't tell uh, wives to uh, love their husbands. It's not prohibited, but it, it doesn't command that. And it doesn't tell husbands to respect their wives. Now, of course, all Christians are to honor all men. Uh, Peter tells us, honor all men. And we're to love our neighbor. And of course, your spouse is your closest neighbor. So of course, uh, a wife is to love her husband, generally, as all Christians do. And a, and a husband is to respect his wife, as all Christians should respect others. But when the Bible comes to address men as men in dealing with their wives, it emphasizes loving them. When the Bible speaks to women as women, teaching them how to relate to their husbands, uh, it tells them to respect and honor their husbands. Uh, basically, men and women are two different kinds of cars. Men run on diesel, women run on regular. And you can solve a lot of problems in your marriage if you put the right kind of gas in the right kind of car. Husbands love your wives. Wives respect your husbands. There's a lot about that in this book. The other thing that I go over, partic I particularly emphasize in marriage counseling, and it's sort of review if the if they've read this book, if the couple have read the the book, is the chapter or section on keeping short accounts. Basically, if you confess your sins to God and you confess your faults and sins to one another, and seek forgiveness and receive forgiveness, then you're going to be. Um, in much better shape than those who simply let unconfessed sin accumulate and pile up. So uh, this is a good primer. This is a good starting place. This is a this is a uh, this is a set of my exhortations to those who are just uh, embarking on the marriage adventure. So there you go, reforming marriage. It doesn't look like this anymore.